Christmas, oh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving vibes. Like Everyone say hey. Bye. Hey y'all, it is Thanksgiving day and we are here with our family, our cousins, our best friends, everybody. And we're having a, a, just a great time out here today. Um, we participated in the devil's lettuce and it's not even uh, 12 o'clock. So the day's started pretty good. Thought I was going to block out, but I didn't. But I did it. Praise Jesus. Little booty. Little booty. Little booty. So we're in the orchard. We were looking for um, worms to use for fishing. And I found this, um, I forget what it's called. Cicada skeleton, echo skeleton. And John does not like it, but I'm going to chase him with it. I don't. Stop, 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 stop. stop. You're so fast. We're swinging. Swing. Push me, John. John. Please keep me away from this poison ivy. John Craven. <laughs> I think my favorite part about coming home is my motorcycle. <laughs> you guys want to know something really, really cool? So let me show you this grass patch right here. It's extra green for a reason, okay? My grandparents, they used to own this uh, farm, like, 20 no probably like 20 25 years ago and they sold it to somebody else but then the person um sold it to somebody else um and we got it back from them on like four, four or five years ago so it's like a family farm kind of but like my mom's put a lot of work into it to make it her own this patch right here used to be um where we kept all of the dead goats that my grandma had because she had like 20 25 she would sell goats and everything but this used to be where they buried all the dead goats that died and stuff Obviously, the dead goats. But yeah, so fun fact. Let's ride! Vibes, guys, vibes. We are two teams. We're playing laser tag out in the pastures. We're here first. Guys, so pretty. Look at these. These are so freaking cool. Oh, wait, I have to reset myself. Thank you. Thank you. These are, they buzz when you shoot at them, so we're going out into our farm. So we're the blue team. Everyone say hi. We're blue team. And they just ran out into one of the paths. You can see their little, their little things. Justin, this is not making a plan. Yes, it is. This is a vlog. This is not making a plan. Okay, the plan is... Um, so I basically <laughs> eat all these bitches up. He lost. <laughs> we are the survivors of the apocalypse. It was intense. I slipped four times. It was great. It is currently the next morning and my brother, he is sleeping out in the camper. Um, we think, we don't really know where he is, but we're gonna try to go bother him and see, like maybe we can scare him or something. Good morning, Stinky. Go away. Go away. Okay, she's, oh wait, I'm in there. Do it, John. She has the cutest. <laughs> Get the camera. Get the camera. You know you want the camera. Okay, we're at John's house now, getting ready for Thanksgiving. And look, we're making a tomato pie. Never heard of that, but look, ooh, I gotta put my hands in it. It's so squishy. Okay, squishy. I need that now. You're a hater. Ooh, nerve. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You're done. Mm -hmm. You're done. Oh, we just put cheese on top. This actually kind of looks good. Mm. Mm. And now the cheese. Oh. After thinly slices. Now we're making pancakes. Mm. Where are you putting it? Um, everywhere. Mm -hmm. This looks so good. Look at that. Look at that pancake. Oh. This is a little trick to annoy the crap out of your little puppies. Watch it. <gasps> So we're currently making a little dessert that we like, and it's a pretzels with Rolos. And usually you, after you cook them, you put M&Ms on the top, but we don't have M&Ms, but look at them. They're so cute and they taste amazing. Like the salt, the chocolate, pretzel. Mm. Look at these. You, how long do you put them in, Mike, John? It's like 350 for like 
Oh, so you put it on in the, in the oven for like five minutes on 350 and these melt on top of them, not fully, but it's just the most amazing combination. We have a bunch of them. John's 21, don't worry. It's the next morning. We had a great night's sleep. We got eggs and bacon. Look how cute he is. Show him your little at the face. Oh, the little babies. <laughs> We're all getting ready for family photos and look who decided to join me. He acts like he's such a small dog. He weighs 100 pounds. Okay, so we just watched the new Hunger Games movie and I'm obsessed with Lucy Gray. And um, I wanna make her dress for a TikTok video or like a little skit. Um, and so we got this, these tie-dye things and here's the dress. Look at it. Oh, you can't, he already tied it, but we're gonna tie-dye it because we're trying to make it look like this. Um, and I really hope it turns out good, but then I have to figure out the corset situation. So we'll do that later. So we're going with purple first at the top. We have to try to like, ooh, like do a gradient, but what should I do? Just like, like the waistband. We're trying to do like a little gradient vibe. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of looking better. It's looking a little dark right now, but it'll wash out in the wash, you know? I'm so excited. Look how well it looks right now. Look, it like looks like it, okay? That gradient is so good. I'm so creative, okay? We got this dress from Amazon and I was like, oh, like how can I make it look like that? Because like all the Lucy Gray dresses cost like freaking $100 because like, uh, it's not like super famous yet and it's not Halloween. So I was like, let me make it myself. I'm so creative. I'm excited. So the gloves they give you in the tie-dye kit don't work. Um, if you have to take family pictures in 30 minutes, definitely don't, don't do tie-dye right before. Yay! <laughs> now we just wait like eight to 10 hours. I think the gradient looks good. I'm nervous because of the insides because like it's layered. Um, but I think it might still look pretty, you know? Like she comes from District 12, like she's not like high fashion or anything, it's handmade. We're out here taking family photos now. It's all, all black with a little pop of color. Mothers, show them your pop of color. Ooh. And then show them what you did with your hand because you can't walk on heels. Oh, you're so bad at that. We should all get inflatable what? costumes. Oh, like dinosaurs? <laughs> That wait, there so was. Fun. We went to. Oh, wait, that'd be perfect because after um after Halloween is over, the spirit of Halloween, gone. they yeah. were all like we twenty dollars. There was a blow up penis. <laughs> like, could you imagine? Who's her sister? The Wicked Witch of the East. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> These bitches showed up twenty minutes right, late so to family photos, and they want us to take photos of them. I think not. Coincidence? I think not. I know. I'm just, oh my god. This this is Let's see what it looks like right now. Okay. Now it's dripping. Oh, I think that works. Yeah. Is it supposed to be bloody? Is it supposed to look like you got stabbed or? No. Oh. But I think that works. Look at that. I think so. I get low draw. So Current. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, we're currently That's taking a little. Uh, <laughs> we're taking a, a sibling uh, trip to Walmart because food's not gonna be ready till 5:30, and we're all bored. Andrew was gonna hi. kill us. Yeah, Andrew was gonna kill us because he's hungry. He's a hungry hippo. Look, all of us are here. <laughs> Walmart, just chilling. Um, my brother's obsessed with matchbox cars because he's five. These children. <laughs> you, 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 you know that's how you're gonna die, right? <laughs> An hour and a half, and then the kid wasn't even satisfied. She doesn't like dig at dinos, so I don't know what we're supposed to do with that information. <laughs> All right, so it's the next morning and um, I want to address something. I just hit a dog bowl. I want to address something real quick because it was a little weird. Um, I had family photos yesterday and I posted my boyfriend multiple times on my Instagram. Like he's all I post on my Instagram, like until I started doing like Instagram reels, right? 
Um, and I'm, I'm obviously like not truly upset. I just think it's really weird. But like, um, I posted a picture of me and my boyfriend kissing, which is not like random. Like if you go to my Instagram, there's at least like five or six photos of us kissing and like us holding each other and stuff. So, and I have a pride photo or a pride flag in my freaking bio, but I guess this is like the first time an actual Instagram post that's not a real got like traction traction. It got like 46,000 likes, which is really unheard of for me at least. Um, and a lot of the comments is like 600 comments and half of them are like, wait, you're gay? Wait, I didn't know this. Ew, wait, how did I not know this? Unfollowed, unfollowed, blah, blah, blah. And I kid you not, I went from 460,000 followers to 450 in a day. 10,000 people did not know that I was gay. I, I, are you blind? Like, I wear wigs for a living, not that that makes you gay, but I, I'm literally, all my content is like based around like me being hyper feminine and stuff. Like, how did you not know I was gay? And it kind of just, it made me upset. Not the fact that I was losing followers because it's just a number, I don't care. And like the people who support me most, like they're in the comments like fighting them back, which is, which is really cute. Um, no one has to fight for me, but I just thought it was really funny. But it just, I've never had that happen before where it's like, people didn't know I was gay and then they're like upset about it. I was just, I was so taken back by it. And it made me feel a little weird because I was like, I was like, I've never had to like launch that I was gay on social media. Cause I just thought it was like known. This was like something everybody knew, but it just like, it was kind of weird to see that like a few of like the hate comments, not that they, they didn't get to me because I love attention. Okay. And I think, I don't, I don't give a freak at the end of the day, but I just thought it was so weird how many people did not know that I was a full-blown homosexual. So if you didn't know, now you know, and you can unfollow me if you want, but I think you need to get your eyes checked because um, I thought it was pretty obvious, but it, it just hit me the weird, a weird way that I didn't like mentally, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep going forward and doing what I do, but I just thought it was so random. Um, I just wanted to talk about that in case anybody didn't know. Great, glad we got that conversation out of the way. Um, but yeah, so it's the next morning, everyone's gone. It's just me and my mom today. Um, we're gonna film a little skit together um, and then I get to go home and do nothing. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the cute little vlog that I had this week. Um, I was filming like every single thing we were doing. So like I had literally over 35 minutes of footage so I had to get it down as like much as possible because like y'all don't want to sit through 30 minutes of me just talking. I promise. I'm born. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't know I was gay, I'm gay. Um, but yeah, so I love you guys so much. Thank you for letting me to continue to do what I do and enjoying my content. If you do, um, I love you guys so much and I'm constantly thankful for you guys. And I hope we can continue doing stuff like this because I thoroughly enjoy it. Peace out, Pookies, and I'll see you later. Bye.